Good evening. First tonight, the futures of hundreds of Queensland nickel workers are again hanging in the balance. Administrators have reportedly requested an urgent cash injection from the government to keep Clive Palmer's company operating beyond this week. Lauren Day joins us now live. And Lauren, the refinery has started shutting down temporarily. Yeah, that's right, Georgie. The refinery has started shutting down due to a lack of ore, but its long-term future is also in doubt. Treasurer Curtis Pitt is in discussion with the administrators overseeing Queensland Nickel. They're asking for $10 million to keep the Townsville refinery alive. It comes after the state government appealed for the federal government to work with them in order to find a buyer and save the remaining 550 jobs. In January, it was placed into voluntary administration and 237 workers were laid off. It was thought the refinery had until April 30, but it seems that deadline is now much earlier. The administrators say at this stage it's now a day-to-day -day situation. The state government says before it helps, it's waiting to hear from Clive Palmer and the federal government. We need uh, the federal government uh, to make it clear what is their commitment to Townsville and the workforce in Townsville. We also need to see what Clive Palmer's commitment is. Uh, Clive Palmer is, inter is, uh, is linked to um, this uh, company uh, intimately and he needs uh, to let Queenslanders know what assets he is putting on the table first and foremost. Now, Georgie, if Queensland Nickel goes into liquidation, the Commonwealth will have to pay $60 million in entitlements. So by paying $10 million, the federal government would actually save $50 million. Both governments also want a guarantee that Clive Palmer won't be able to touch any sort of money they offer. Georgie? Thank you. Lauren Day with that update.